Elon Musk reveals new update of Mechazilla. Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well and waiting for another video on space news. Your wait is over because I have come back with another crazy week of Starship updates. I will tell you about the new secret that CEO Elon Musk reveals of Mechazilla. But before we start, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications button so that you will never miss anything of space niche news. Let's not waste a second and move on with the video. One of Elon Musk's companies is trying to upend the auto industry. Another of his companies is trying to bring low cost transportation for everyone who needs it. Yet SpaceX is trying to put people on Mars. Yes, that's it. SpaceX has not released an official render depicting how the booster will be caught yet. SpaceX founder Elon Musk said that the render animation is pretty close to how the vehicle will be caught. Musk wrote in response to the video render that Starship will be caught by Mechazilla too. As with Booster, there would be no landing legs. Those are only needed for the Moon and Mars until there is local infrastructure. Catching the 230 foot tall Booster will enable fast reusability. Starship Booster, the largest flying object ever designed, will be caught out of the sky by the launch tower. Elon Musk said earlier this year a big step forward. As reflight can be done in under an hour, the ideal scenario, in his opinion, is catching Starship in horizontal glide with no landing burn. Although that is quite a challenge for the tower, the next best is catching with the tower, with emergency pad landing mode on the skirt, no legs. Just one skyscraper catching another, Musk joked. The super heavy booster will be caught with load points just below the grid fins, and shock absorption is built into the tower arms. SpaceX aims to launch a prototype Starship on an orbital ship in the second half of 2021. The plan, first revealed in the Federal Communication Commission document in May, involves launching the ship into orbit with the help of SpaceX's Super Heavy booster. The flight, expected to last 90 minutes, will culminate in the ship completing a targeted landing on one of SpaceX's drone ships stationed in the ocean, some 60 miles northwest of Hawaii. The next step in the plan is to bring Starship to life in the orbital test. First unveiled in 2017 under the name BFR, Starship is designed to be fully reusable and able to send more than 100 tons of cargo or 100 people into space at one time. The ship will take on both the satellite and crew launching duties of the SpaceX rockets Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy and enable more ambitious missions to take place like a crewed mission to Mars. SpaceX plans to send people to Mars within the decade and establish the first city by 2025. No pressure. During Elon Musk's 2017 presentation, he showed that the payload area would have a pressurized volume of 125 cubic meters in its crew configuration, larger than an Airbus A380 aircraft. The Starship user guide shows how the fairing flips open to deploy its payload. The guide also outlined the ship's ability to capture objects in space and bring them to Earth. Elon Musk said that with the fully reusable Starship, satellites can be captured and repaired in orbit, returned to Earth, or transferred to a new operational orbit. In other words, capturing debris is something that Starship will be able to accomplish. It could also become the world's most advanced garbage truck. When placed on top of one another, Super Heavy and Starship are going to create the tallest rocket ever built. SpaceX's massive vehicle is going to break some serious records. While Starship, on its own, is going to be around 160 feet tall, when it is placed on top of the Super Heavy booster, the entire vessel will measure 394 feet tall. That means it's taller than NASA's Saturn V rocket and their upcoming SLS rocket. Once again, SpaceX has broken the mold and created something for the record books. But why is SpaceX now planning for the Orbital Launch Site, or OLS, to catch Super Heavy Rocket Booster once it's finished its job? To understand and get a better idea about that, we need to first examine the Orbital Launch Site. The Orbital Launch Site is also known as Spaceport or Cosmodrome. Airplanes have airports, boats have seaports, while spaceships have Orbital Launch Sites. The most common, well-known Orbital Launch Sites are both located in Florida, such as Cape Canaveral and the Kennedy Space Center. 
Those two sites, which belong to NASA, have launched many flights including Apollo 7 and Mercury 3. SpaceX has finished its plan for its cutting-edge OLS and they are already doing hard work on construction. You can expect to see the final results later this year. As for its name, Elon Musk decided to go with something a little bit more lively than the orbital launch site. He called it Mechazilla. The orbital launch site only has one job, to harbor and prepare a space vehicle for flight. The passengers board onto the ship through the OLS and it serves many important functions, like refueling and positioning. It's a pivotal part of the process. However, once the ship has launched it and headed up towards the stars, the OLS doesn't have a whole of a lot to do. Today, SpaceX is challenging all the past unresolved constraints, thanks to the brand new catching idea. Instead of being a place where rockets will launch from, it will now become a place where they can land too. One of the biggest appeals about SpaceX and how they are planning to do things is their plan for reusability. Being able to fly a rocket and land it, then use it again and again, is a game changer. It will surely save money, time, and also energy. Imagine a rocket ship traveling into space, landing back on Earth after its trip is complete, and then being prepped to fly again. It works for airplanes, so why can't it work for spacecraft too? The idea has been taken to a whole new level, with the idea of OLS catching the super heavy rocket booster. The premise was first revealed by Elon Musk, who perhaps jokingly stated that he received the idea after watching the popular 80s film The Karate Kid. From there, he imagined a giant pair of chopsticks that will grab a hold of the descending super heavy. The starship will be fired and launched from the OLS and shot up into space, powered by the incredible and awe-inspiring strength of 28 methane-fueled Raptor engines that are assembled in the Super Heavy at the base. The Super Heavy will provide Starship with 16 million pounds of thrust, twice the amount of thrust of the original Saturn V that NASA revealed in the 1960s. The Super Heavy will come back down to Earth twisting, turning and lining itself at tremendous speeds. It can also make its proposal target of the orbital launch site, the very place it leaped from only minutes before. The Super Heavy will slow a little bit before it reaches the OLS, which will have a huge pair of massive arms that will extend out and be ready to close and grasp the rockets as they pass through it. Perfectly aligned, the Super Heavy will slide right down into place and be caught with the load points below the grid fins. SpaceX employees are currently working hard to get the concept and the plan. Their goal is to complete the design in a few months before the debut of 2022. So we might see Mechazilla put into action. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know your opinion about the new update of Mechazilla in the comment section down below. Subscribe and hit the notification button so we can keep you updated with the world of SpaceX. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.